Hello, Melissa Darmwan for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Novartis Group is CEO Peter Cook. Peter, welcome back. Good morning, Mel, and Fin News Network. A few weeks ago, Novartis announced a partnership with Google Pay and Samsung Pay, building on an existing list of Tier 1 global partnerships. This week, the company announced a partnership with Ripple. Tell us a bit more about that. Ripple really uh, is a very innovative global network. It's, it's, uh, it's cryptocurrency or digital asset is called XRP and it is the third largest of the cryptocurrencies with actually a market cap I think at the moment of about US 27 billion. But our uh, work with Ripple is around cross-border payments and integrating into their network which has about 300 banks and financial services companies that, that use the Ripple network for uh, very fast, uh, accurate transactions, cross-border payments. So uh, from Novartis' point of view, we can be a major uh, partner of Ripples in Australia for both sending funds from Australia to, uh, well, initially Southeast Asia, but then globally, and uh, on, on the near-term roadmap for bringing funds into Australia and settling out through the new payments platform uh, for instant payments. So essentially, um, for, for our cross-border payments division, we have now partnered with one of the major networks in the world. And exactly what is Novati seeking to achieve with this partnership with Ripple, as opposed to the other partnerships you announced a few weeks ago? This partnership is very much about uh, building one of the pillars, which is our cross-border payments. If you look at, say, uh, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, or even our visa issuing, uh, partnership from late last year, that's really all about building our card issuing. So at the moment we've got, um, we, we're building a, a payment service provider business or payments banking business, which is uh, issuing of cards. It is accepting payments for merchants and businesses. It's doing subscription billing and it's doing cross-border payments. So uh, uh, we have a, a hypothesis that that as COVID has driven this, this acceleration of, of cashless and digital payments, that there are many services that consumers and businesses need and, and we're able to help in, in multiple ways. In, in terms of these partnerships, what it's really showing is that as a public listed company with licenses, technology and clients, um, we, we can peer up with many of these global brands and, and accelerate the deployment of these services.